here, I don't want to compliment you on that stop of the two point conversion <laughs> in the fourth. That was awesome. What was going through your mind um, at that moment, and knowing that maybe giving your team a, another opportunity to finish it in the last few seconds of the fourth? Yeah, you give. Uh... You give a lot of team a lot of juice when you get a two-point uh, two conversion stop. But um, yeah, thank you. Um, it wasn't just me; it was the rest of the guys. Um, you know, I was just the lucky guy to go hit them. So um, thank you. But yeah, it just it, it gets a lot of juice to the rest of the team and um, go out there and get fired up and go and go have a drive. I said, you know, after you got that stop with four or five minutes left, you, you kind of knew you'd have to get one more. Is that how you? you Set enough in your mind. Yeah, yeah, and we uh, usually in that time frame, uh, you know, you, one or two things that happen. We, you know, you get a couple first downs, and they have to take timeouts, and it turns into a four-minute or two-minute drill for our offense. And um, but just the mentality, and if because if you don't prepare to go back out there and you do, then you know, you're, you're you're not doing well from the start. So just telling guys to be ready, get get ready to go, and uh, understand that we probably have to go out there again. When a team runs through as much as Wisconsin did in these kind of conditions, how much do you even feel that in the fourth quarter as those drives are piling? Yeah, I mean when you're on, you, when you're on the field for that long, and obviously those those uh, those heavy guys start to lean on you a little bit. Um, uh, I mean, this yeah they run, they run the ball a lot, so they yeah they lean on you. That, uh surprised you on third on the third and goal there on the two or is it, is that no that's anything? pretty normal that's pretty normal of an offense to get get that close to sneak it in how would you evaluate evaluate your run defense today uh you know the 200 or whatever rushing yard isn't you know ideal what you do i think he's only we only broke it out we wanted to eliminate the X plays because he did a really good job of getting north and south and with, with, with the film we watched and we wanted to eliminate those and you know he ha he has that ability to like you saw saw break it out of the stack or hit an edge and uh, we wanted to minimize or eliminate those um, but you know they ran I don't even know how many times they ran the ball but um, when they run it that much when we were on the field that much it's you know it adds on just those little runs. Sure, the, the, the loss is disappointing. How do you balance? Knowing that you played really hard, and, and having that still be a point short. It's a great question. Uh, sometimes in life, you don't get the things that you think you, that you deserve or earn. You know, you don't you don't always get your way all the time um, with life or with football. So. Um, there's a lot outside of your control that that I can't control or we can control, and you got to realize that. And um, the things you can, you focus on those, and how do you get better in those and master those? That's that's kind of where my brain goes to. How how do I get better? How do how do I make other people better in uh, our position group and lead um, with the things that I can control? What's what's your message to the team going into the Iowa week? They're Iowa. <laughs> we got. Uh, Obviously, have a chip in our shoulder with 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 those guys. So, um, staying together for for one last week and cherishing these these moments with the seniors and playing as hard as we can for one last game against Iowa. All right, thank you, Gary. Thanks, guys.